Welcome to 4C Visions. I'm your host, R.V. Hyde, Director of Communications at Central Carolina Community College. In the first edition of 4C Visions, it is my pleasure to welcome Dr. T. Eston Marchant, President of Central Carolina Community College. Dr. Marchant became President of the college in August 2008, bringing a strong background in both academics and economic development. Prior to coming to Central Carolina, he served in a number of various collegiate leadership roles, including his most recent role as Vice President for Educational Affairs at Piedmont Technical College in South Carolina. During his career, Dr. Marchant has received numerous honors, including the 2013 Sanford Herald Citizen of the Year, 2009 Citizen of the Year in Clinton, South Carolina, named by the Clinton Chronicle, South Carolina Technical Education Association 2005 Administrator of the Year, and Phi Theta Kappa 2003 Distinguished College Administrator of the Carolinas Region. Welcome, Dr. Marchant. Well, thank you, RV. I'm very glad to be here. Um, this is exciting, our first program and our first show, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, great. Dr. Marchant, Central Carolina Community College has seen much progress during your tenure as president. What has your first seven years been like as president, and how do you see the progress of the college during your time as president? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to believe that it's been seven going on eight years now, RV, and of course you've been with us the whole time, either as a trustee or as a, a now an employee of the college. We've seen a lot of growth. Um, we've seen a lot of progress. Of course, we, um, we were very fortunate to have had um, some very, very, very good past presidents, uh, three of whom are still with us and uh, we still communicate with regularly. We do um, a lot of things here at the college that a typical community college would do, but we also do some really unique things and some of those things have come about in the last uh, couple of years. One of the things that we did, um, I believe it was in 09 or 10, which I'm very proud of, of course, is becoming the first community college in the United States to host a Confucius classroom. Uh, Confucius Institutes across the United States are a partnership between the Education Department of China and the uh, various universities in states across the country. And we actually have a branch of that now located at Central Carolina Community College. Uh, we were the first community college in the country to actually have that located on our campus. And what it does is it exposes our students to a rich and vibrant culture of China and also allows us to, um, to bring them closer to the other major economic superpower in the world. Uh, we've done so many other things that it's hard to grasp um, uh, one or two of them, but one of the nice things that I've been um, fortunate to be here uh, for has been the construction of a number of projects. Um, we finished, uh, soon after I got here, the Solar City site. We have a new uh, joint library with Chatham County that was also done in the in the 09-10 frame. So we've done quite a number of, of very innovative things in, in addition to make, making sure uh, and maintaining the quality of education that our students and our supporters have come to expect. That's great. Central Carolina Works has become a signature program of the college allowing high school students to help them take advantage of the state-funded Career and College Promise, or CCC, CCP program. CCP enables high school juniors and seniors to enroll tuition-free in college credit courses that also apply toward their high school diploma. What makes this program so special? Well, to, to just uh, give you a little bit of background, um, we have some great, great, great private supporters of the college. Uh, chief among them is Kurt Bradley, whom you know. Uh, and Kurt Bradley has always been interested in making sure that we have a seamless transition between K-12 and community college and also that we allow students to be able, once they get to community college, to be able to complete in a reasonable time. Uh, and Kurt has been involved in thinking about K-14 for some time, ways to enroll more students in the college. And this, this came about as an idea that allows high school students through guidance and, and selected studies to take uh, college courses while they're in high school, primarily their 11th and 12th grade years, that then they could apply toward an associate's degree here at the college, or if they wish to transfer directly 
to a four-year college. Uh, so what makes this unique is that we have partnered with the private sector to privately fund for two years um, guidance counselors that will be embedded in our nine local high schools. So literally, you will have a Central Carolina guidance counselor in the high schools in our three county region. So that students that are interested in taking care of, uh, taking advantage of these courses can have somebody to talk to, somebody to talk about what type of degree path they might be on, somebody that can talk about where they can use these credits either here at the college or at a university. That's what makes this unique. Dual enrollment has been around in North Carolina probably for as long as I can remember. But this targeted, specifically designed program that helps students think about a career path or an academic path um, and, and allows them to do that in sync with our counselors is truly unique. And I think it is really something to say that within the budget that was just passed by the North Carolina legislature, there is a line item to spread Central Carolina Works statewide. Uh, we're very proud to have been the first to do it. Uh, we're very proud of our private partners, and we're particularly proud of our partner, Kurt Bradley, who, uh, whose vision helped, helped get this program off the ground. But it, it's, it's an exciting program, and the benefits are already beginning to be seen. We now have over 1,000 students wow. in our three-county region that are in high school taking advantage of uh, Central Carolina Works this fall semester. That's great. The college plays a major role in the economic development of the Central Carolina area. How do you see the college's role in relation to the area's economic well-being? Well, I'm, our mission as a community college is to provide skills that put people to work. We see ourselves as a partner with our three counties and the three counties' different economic development organizations to work with them to ensure that the economies of the three counties continue to grow, continue to thrive, and that the people that we are putting out are capable of performing the work that is necessary uh, to do. We've partnered with expansion programs such as Room to Go down in Harnett County, Caterpillar here in Lee, and many, many others. Um, we tend to think that these economic development agencies in the three counties look at us as their partner, and we're one of the first people that they call when they've got a prospect coming to the county. Our goal is to put people to work. Our goal is to move people into the middle class, allowing them to live a good life. And I think working in economic development, we will ensure that the job opportunities are there and that the people who come to Central Carolina have the right skills to fill those job opportunities as we continue into the future. Uh, Dr. Marchant, just recently, the uh, college was the recipient of a $9.2 million grant Tell us a little about that. Well, we're very fortunate and very uh, pleased that we were the recipient of the first in the world grant put out by the uh, Department of Education from Washington. This will allow what we are doing in terms of our student retention and working with students to make sure that they have the guidance and the support necessary to continue to go to school is spread statewide. We have partnered with nine other community colleges here in the state and we will be trying to replicate what we have done in terms of our student advising and student support on those nine campuses. As you know, many students come to Central Carolina Community College either after their high school career or even after many years in the workforce. And so college is not something that they are used to and it, they come with many uh, things that, that they need support in. Areas such as making sure that somebody's there to um, see that they've got the right classes, that there is support given if they need tutoring or those types of things. And this grant will allow us not only to continue, but expand that as well as to expand it to other colleges. When we return, Dr. Marchant will discuss the continuing growth of the college. Hi, may I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Okay. Take that first step towards a better future. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org.
Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome. Oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. Uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up impossible. And then we're going to turn the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. What's your reaction? Exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. This is their world. Nothing. I'm a teacher. I make more. Welcome back to 4C Visions. I'm R.V. Height, and I'm joined today by Dr. T. Eston Marchant. Dr. Marchant, Lee County citizens graciously approved a $23 million bond referendum for the construction of the Lee Health Sciences Center, expansion and renovation of the Veterinary Medical Technology Facility, renovation and expansion of the Emergency Services Training Center, and the Lee County Campus a new construction and renovation at the Dennis A. Wicker Civic Center. What is the status of these projects and what is the time schedule for these projects moving forward? Well, each of these projects has uh, been um, reviewed by our architect, which is Taylor Hobbs, and we are in the process of submitting plans to the state of North Carolina. All state construction has to be approved in Raleigh and that does take a little time, but each of those projects is moving forward on, on the uh, time schedule that we kind of thought they would. We are hoping that we will see construction beginning in the spring of 2016. The first project that you probably will see coming out of the ground will be the Civic Center expansion. Uh, as you know, RV, we have a wonderful Civic Center now that is, um, 21 or 22 years old. This will allow us to build an addition onto the Civic Center that will be connected by a causeway uh, and will also allow us to completely renovate the current um, facility. This will allow us to expand the number of groups that we're able to serve um, and also because of the uniqueness of the expansion we'll be able to have two different completely different events going on at the same time. Importantly, we always want to include an educational component to anything we do, so we will be expanding a culin or putting a culinary lab mm. into the Civic Center, which will allow us to bring some of our programming from uh, Chatham County and duplicate it here in Lee County for our culinary arts program. It will also allow us to have those students experience firsthand what it's like 
uh, to do catering and, and to produce uh, uh, item, gourmet items for clientele of the Civic Center. So we're very, very pleased with that. That's coming along. We hope to have that breaking ground sometime in the spring of 16. With the Health Sciences Building, we've had for a long time the need to consolidate a number of our health science programs into one facility. This facility will be very modern and very much in tune with the advances in healthcare that have been going on in our country for a long time. As you know, many things in healthcare have changed in terms of technology in particular, but also in the way that, that healthcare is taught and healthcare is delivered. And this new facility will allow us to do that. This facility will also be our first new facility across Kelly Drive. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited to open up that part of the campus. As uh, you know, and you actually might have been on the board when the board, I think, very, very, very smartly purchased the 33 acres on the, mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the other side of Kelly Drive. And this will allow us to begin master planning our new campus uh, our new uh, buildings on that part of Kelly Drive and then hopefully, hopefully, in a not too distant future, we will actually relocate Kelly Drive so that we'll be able to draw the two halves of the campus together and make a pedestrian walkway out of the current Kelly Drive site. The, um, health, the, the veterinary technology building, it's very exciting. It's one of our premier programs. Uh, we currently have 64 students that we can accept every year into the veterinary technology program. This uh, expansion and renovation will allow us to eventually increase that uh, number to 100. Uh, we have many more applicants than we can accept into that program. It is also consistently on the list of the top 10 fastest growing professions in the United States. Uh, those of you that um, know me know I love my pets and uh, <laughs> making sure that they have good health care is extremely important to me and I think it's extremely important to just about everyone who has a pet and so there will be lots of job opportunities coming open for people in the, um, health care, in the pet care industry and we're very excited about that. Um, our Emergency Services Training Center, which is the old Lee County Airport, is probably one of the best emergency services training centers in the state of North Carolina. We do fire training and police training, all sorts of emergency personnel training out there. And we have a need to expand that because we not only do we do it in our three counties, but we do for, for a number of counties, particularly in this part of the state, we do the emergency services training for them. This new facility will uh, basically increase our ability to do uh, what we do in a very professional uh, manner and will allow us to be able to expand the number of students that we serve in that site. Also, one of the things that kind of gets overlooked in this bond referendum was there, there are significant dollars to help us with renovating many of the facilities on the Lee County campus. Uh, many of our buildings are almost as old as the college and we're going on 53 years now uh, and many of them are in need of having upgrades particularly uh, for roofs and air conditioning and heating and those types of things so we're looking forward as we do that to, um, to, um, to really upgrading some of the facilities here at the college. And the last thing I'll mention is uh, at, at one end of the health science building we will have a completely new up-to-date and modern bookstore. Wow. One of the things that we get constant complaints about is the bookstore on this campus opened almost 30 years ago and it is very small. I'm sure that 30 years ago it was adequate for the, um, um, the, the school population at that point, but it's not adequate now. So we will have a, um, a very much of a, um, a modern bookstore. We're trying to give it a Barnes and Noble feel uh, in the bookstore. We will actually have a coffee kiosk in there and uh, we will have an expanded section for those that um, you know uh, for not only books but college apparel and other types of things so we're very very excited about that looking forward to getting that off the ground and we know the students and faculty will certainly look forward to that absolutely uh, central carolina community college uh, doesn't just uh, keep itself in lee county we also have uh, campuses in hornet and chatham county and there are some exciting things happening in Harnett County right now with the new CCCC Dunn Center on the campus of the former Harnett High School. 
What offerings will be available at the Dunn Center and when do you expect the Dunn Center to open? Um, RV, the Dunn Center is going to probably be our most unique campus. They are taking the old Harnett High School and they are renovating it in, um, they're renovating it in total for senior housing. And I've been in some of the apartments down there and they really kind of have a, a New York City feel. Each apartment is completely different. They're small, they're very compact, but they're very unique in the way they are sized and put together. They're not simply square apartments that you know you might be used to in a typical apartment um, complex. So it's really unique. The rest of the campus actually surrounds that, that apartment building. And on one side is a gymnasium, which we'll have access to that will be operated by Harnett County. But on the other side will be our campus. And we will have culinary arts, barbering, and we will have a full range of, of, of transfer and continuing ed classes in a um, classroom building that has been renovated from a 1940s building, leaving much of that architecture in place. So we're very excited about being able to partner with the city of Dunn to bring those services to Dunn and that part of Harnett County. Uh, the culinary program in particular will focus on teaching students how to deal with people who may live in a senior living environment, their particular health needs, their particular nutrition needs. Um, it'll be a really unique training program. And also out back we will have a greenhouse. So many of the things we will grow in the greenhouse will actually go into the culinary program. Um, we anticipate that we will take possession of the building in November and we anticipate the first classes being offered in January of 2016. Um, and we do salute the uh, city of Dunn and the county of Harnett for being so innovative and so forward thinking to be able to bring this, this to fruition. And I know that's exciting that you've been able to uh, now say that the community college is now in all parts of Harnett County once that opens. Right. Dunn, Dunn was a major part of the county where we had a small but not significant presence before this. This will allow us to truly serve in a complete way the citizens of Dunn and that part of Harnett County. We're very excited about that. That's great. And in Chatham County, we have the uh, Pittsburgh campus and the uh, Siler City campus. And we're also considering a new CCCC Health Sciences Center, which could be on the horizon. Tell us about the plans for this project and where the center might be located. Well, we have um, a need, one of the fastest growing um, uh, uh, professions in, the, uh, in, in our area are healthcare jobs. And we at the college, people don't realize it, but just about anything below the MD level, we can train you for here at the college. And that's everything from nursing to phlebotomy to um, CNAs, anything you might, might think about. And so we have the need for a, once again, a modern, healthcare training facility in Chatham County. We have one in Harnett, we soon to have one here in Lee County. We're looking at one approximately 40,000 square feet in, in Chatham County. We think it would be very, very popular. Um, we're looking at two potential sites, and of course ultimately it'll be up to the Board of Trustees and the Chatham County Commissioners to pick a site, but one would be located on the present day Pittsburgh campus. But other one would be located in a commercial area um, of Briar Chapel, which is in the northern part of the county, which once again is one of those kind of underserved areas of our service area. Um, and it would truly be kind of unique because it would be the centerpiece of a commercial area that would include um, restaurants and coffee shops and grocery stores and those kinds of things. So um, once again, kind of stay tuned for that. We'll come back and do a whole program on the um, on the Chatham Health Science Building once we've decided on a uh, location and a timeline tentatively, very tentatively, we would like to see construction start on that in probably 2018. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Marchant, for being here today. You must be extremely proud of the progress CCCC continues to make in serving the citizens of Central Carolina. Tell us a little bit, you have such enthusiasm for the college and such pride. Well, I, I, you know, I'm, every day I wake up and thank my lucky stars uh, about how um, I wound up at, at Central Carolina Community College because it has just been one of the most incredibly unique journeys that I think anyone could take. Um, and I have been incredibly impressed and blessed 
with the staff uh, that, is, that is just so outstanding, so outstanding. We have the size and the uniqueness and the position in the state to do things that allow us to create environments for faculty, staff, and students that are unique, and we're very, very excited about that. But it's, it's, it's been an incredible journey. I'm looking forward to these building projects, and I think we will um, we'll, we'll begin to see even more uh, community support and activity once we get them off the ground. Very exciting. And I know that, that you're so pleased to be able to uh, furnish all of these great things for the students of our area. Well, our students, um, you know, like the ones here in the studio, our students here deserve the best. And we are trying every day to make sure that they get best in terms of facilities, but even more importantly than facilities in instruction. Well, thank you, Dr. Marchant, and thank you, viewers, for being with us on 4C Visions. Stay tuned for our next show in the series, and thank you for being with us today. Chatham County, Lee County, and Harnett County. This is Central Carolina Community College. Your future starts here.